Hey, what is up, YouTube? Jonah here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Android on your iPhone first generation or iPhone 3G. Now, today I have an iPhone 3G, and I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to install Android. Now, a little heads up, this is glitchy. Um, it's not something I can use primarily, it's just something cool to have. Just keep that in mind. So this doesn't require a computer, this does require you to be jailbroken though. Um, I am jailbroken, I'm on 4.2.1, the latest firmware the iPhone 3G can run. And that's pretty much all you need. So after you're jailbroken, you want to go into Cydia, right here. I'll have a video in the description on how to jailbreak your device. Just go into Cydia. I'm not going to be doing the whole process in Cydia, because Cydia takes forever to load on the iPhone 3G. But basically, just go to the search tab down here and search for bootlace. B-O-O-T-L-A-C-E. It's free in Cydia. It's a small download, and you should get something like this, a little picture of a boot. Go into that, and there is a few tabs at the bottom. Okay. So the very first thing we're gonna, you're gonna want to do when you first open up the application is you're gonna go, is you're gonna want to go to the Open iBoot tab, the third tab. Tap on that, and I already have it installed, but you should have a green install button. Tap on that. It shouldn't take too long to install, but it's very, very, very important. You do not bother the installation when Open iBoot is installing. Do not close the app. Go into multitasking. If your phone rings, not answer it. Don't do anything when it's installing Open iBoot because it's flashing your hardware and you could damage your iPhone for life if you interrupt it when it's installing Open iBoot. So just keep that in mind. You, you can get rid of Open iBoot if you do a hard restore in iTunes by putting it to DFE mode and doing a hard restore. Just keep that in mind. So after you have Open iBoot installed, you want to tap on the iDroid icon, the last icon. And then again, you should have an install button. Now Android isn't, well, it's a big file. It's over 100 megabytes, so it will take a little bit of time to download and install on your device so just plug it in when you're installing Android because it will take some time, it will take about two to three hours depending on your internet speed. So after that's installed you should be brought, it should say upgrade or remove, you know that's installed. You also have some more options here, if you tap this little eye up here you will have an option to extract multi-touch firmware and download Wi-Fi firmware. Now out of the box Android doesn't work with the Wi-Fi drivers do not work and the multi-touch drivers do not work. I would boot up Android beforehand just to see if it works first. So anyway, after you're done installing Android, go to the Quick Boot tab and then you can choose to go into Android or the console. You can tap whichever one it will reboot your device immediately and take you into the console. You don't have to do this but it's a quicker way to reboot into Android or the console. So I don't need to do that so we can also do, you don't have to do the Quick Boot, you can just hold down your power button and then slide the power off whoops went to SB settings there slide the power off okay so now you want to press the power button up here just hold it for a few seconds and then you should be at a screen that looks like this it's almost like boot camp on the Mac we have open iBoot we can choose to boot into iOS the console or Android now you want to use the power button to scroll through them all at the top and the home button to select and I accidentally press the home button. Okay, so I'm going to press this button, and I'll select Android, and I'll press my home button, and now it will start loading up Android. This will take about a minute or two minutes to load up, so just be patient. You'll see a bunch of weird text scrolling along, so just be patient. Alright, so we're all booted into Android. And this is Android running on your iPhone. This is completely Android. Um, so we'll just unlock it here. Drag to unlock. If I can do this properly. There we go. And there is my layout. I got my Google search widget right there. Go ahead and I'll exit that. I got my got my clock widget got my music widget. So this is Android guys. Now they did disable the market so if you go into the apps you will not see market anywhere. There's probably some hack to get it on but as you can see it's not the most responsive. It's kind of glitchy. Sound works and vibration works and the phone itself works 
Um, you can't 3G, I couldn't get to work, I couldn't get the actual data to work, but Wi-Fi does work. You install the Wi-Fi firmware, like I showed earlier in the bootlace application. But it is a little bit different. You want the power button at the top simulates the home button, so if I press the power button, it will take it to the home screen. If you press the home button, it will bring up your tools. I don't really, I'm not that familiar with Android, so I don't know what button that simulates, but you guys should know. Um, and if you press home and power at the same time, it will lock the device. And if you press the lock button again, you'll be back to your lock screen to unlock. And if you hold the home and power, you'll be brought to these options. You can put it into silent mode, put it into airplane mode, or power it off. If you press it again, it will close the menu. So that is pretty much it. Let me open up an app just to show you guys. Actually, let's open up terminal, terminal editor, emulator. So this is terminal, we got our keyboard. Typing isn't bad on it, it's pretty responsive. It's not the best, but let me just do a quick typing test here. It is a little bit laggy. But yeah, it is, it is a little slow. So like I said, this is just something to cool. This is just something cool. Show it, show it to your friends, and it's not really something that you won't want to use your primary OS. And one thing I noticed is it does make your device really hot. Um, I noticed my iPhone gets pretty hot running Android, so there must be some driver issue there or something. But that is Android. If you want to reboot, all you simply do is hold the home and power, tap on power off. Okay tap on that and then it will shut it down and we'll be back to our open iBoot menu. Okay, and then we'll just press the home button or power button again. Press the home button and you're back into iOS. The good old same iOS that you had before. Nothing's changed. As long as you do everything correctly, you shouldn't have any damaged or corrupt files. Everything should boot up fine. Everything should work fine. So guys, that's been my tutorial on how to install Android on your iPhone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go subscribe and check out my channel for more great tech-related videos. So guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.